Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to make animations with CSS. It's pretty easy. So, the reason I didn't post this video on Sunday, when I normally would have, is because I was off on vacation. I'll show you pictures later. So, let's get started. To get started, pop open your text editor, or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. I'm using the Try It Editor. Right now, go to Try It Editor. There it is. I'll put a link in the description. And delete all of this. Alright, so open up a style tag, because you know it's CSS. And then we're going to be applying the animation to an element called scoot. So hash scoot uh, open curly braces P bah. position is rel relative that means that it, it'll be able to move around because we're going to move it in the animation and then animation scoot that's the name of the animation 2s that's how long it is two seconds infinite that's how many times it'll happen so i could put a number here but i'm going to have it repeat forever and then alternate which means that it will go back and forth instead of so when it zooms across it'll then zoom back instead of going zooming across and then appearing over here and then zooming back so alternate and that's all you have to do for scoot next at symbol keyframes um scoot and then open curly braces from open curly braces left colon zero px semicolon um, to uh, left colon 500 px semicolon so that it will move from the left to the right and that's it. You can also put percentages like 0% it'll be here and then 50% it'll change color or something. But you don't have to do that. So close that style tag. That's all the CSS you're going to need. Now just make an element called scoot. That's div id equals in quotes scoot. And then inside I'll put I'm scooting. Some exclamation marks and close that div. All right, let's run the code. I'm scooting and it scoots back and forth. So this is pretty boring. So let's change this from to 0% and let's change this to to 100%. And then let's put here in the 50% we want it to turn green color colon green and let's make the color here be blue color colon blue and let's put the color when it's done be purple color colon purple okay now let's run that again Blue, green, purple. Green, blue. Whoa. And that's pretty cool. Let's make it tilt a little bit when it's done. So, transform, colon, rotate, in parentheses, negative 5 DEG for degrees, close parentheses, semicolon, and run. Oh, that's weird. I spelled transform wrong. I spell things wrong. <laughs> Bad at typing. And there we go. It's it's scooting around like that. Now, this won't run on Safari. And to fix that, we just need to copy the keyframes here. Paste them again. And then change the thing that says at sign keyframes to at sign dash webkit dash keyframes 
And now this code will run on Safari and normal browsers. So yeah, hopefully you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go to my website at cuffandcurve.gq. Check out KidZ later because right now I'm going to show you some pictures and video that I thought were cool from Glacier National Park. Okay, this one was fake. I was just having fun in Photoshop. <laughs> I got my Swiss Army spoon. Thanks for watching.